Welcome to the IELTS Chat Podcast with me, Beth, Josh and Ryan. This podcast is all about exploring the big questions, the small moments and everything in between. Whether you're stuck at the shops, in traffic or just looking for some inspiration, our chat is here to keep you engaged. It's time to talk, connect and find meaning in those everyday moments. Welcome to the IELTS Chat. So, so as if I know. it's been that long. How, uh, do you know what? That's what I had. I had like 12 weeks, five days, 11 hours, 13 minutes, new baby, couple of holidays, 24 weddings. Shout out to new baby, by the way. Do no know? engagement. I was just talking about that. <laughs> All that and still no engagement. Three months down. A lot happened. A lot more has happened. Than, more than a lot, I would say. 20, 24 weddings. In that time, I don't for us, know how many I've done to be honest. Well, like before we were doing the podcast, I thought I'm gonna have to like come up with a number here, like figure figure it out because I feel awful on all them weddings that we shot, and they kept saying to and me, yeah, "Oh, yeah. wedding of the week," yeah, and I was like, oh, "You know, you're like 15th in the queue. Yeah, there's no <laughs> way I'm gonna be able to sit <laughs> sitting here for yeah. three hours long yeah. <laughs> discussing our weddings of the <laughs> past 18 weeks or whatever it's been." But I did say we will try to like somewhere down the line. Give a little bit of reference. Oh, yeah, to the, every, the, chances, every person. the chances are when we speak about what we've been doing in the, the weeks that have gone by, we'll probably reference a few of them at least. So, yeah, you know, yeah. But yeah. you're all still dear in here. Let's just yeah. say. And obviously, we've had loads of messages of people which has been really, really nice to, to know that, like, they miss us and they yeah. want us back. Well, we did that little video, didn't we? Just saying. You, know, <laughs> you obviously. <laughs> look like you know someone's been kidnapped, but like, please. <laughs> That's what I felt like to be fair. I don't even know why. I thought I was just sitting in here one day and I was just a little bit like reminiscing and I thought, people need to know. People need to know. So that's why I thought I'll give a little shout. And yeah, like you said, loads of people did say, you know, we'll be here waiting for you. So that was quite nice. We'll it's com- see. It's comforting because I, I don't know about you, but I feel like I felt like I was letting people down a bit. Yeah, yeah. you do. Do you know, because we become so consistent with it. Yeah, I was surprised. Like the system when, when there was gaps, like yeah. um, obviously we we decided that there would be gaps for to let people catch up because the podcast episodes were getting longer and longer, weren't they? But then when it, the gaps were too long, and then people were starting to recognise, like, oh, so when's the next one? I was like, I feel really crap now. Like, yeah, but you've still got to do your own. To be words, fair, though, you know? we ended on like a really good one with Gary. Yeah, Gary. Uh, Stop it, Gary! Yes. So we, we ended up <laughs> a good Gary Barker, by the way. I know, fair shout I'm going to be flying on these shout-outs today. <laughs> Bringing it back. But we were saying before, just off air, like how much I feel like a virgin, again, with podcasting. Oof. I do. feel like... Um, I'm not sure about what that. What a way to use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Pasta. I know. But, you know, it's, it is, it's, it's just nice to be back. Yeah. And hopefully people who are listening like to hear our voices again. Yeah. I think I think there's going to be a, your, your obvious few people who will be glad to see us. Some people probably can't be bothered seeing us again. Yeah. Um, but that's the that's the yin that's and the yang of life, you know. <laughs> um, and we've got Matty back. Matty's few, and then he's having to click on himself. Mike, Mike on. Mike. Camera on me. Hi guys. Hey. Matty. Matty. No, um, we've missed Matty. Yeah, we've all been busy though, Matty's been... Beth was Matty for oh, quite a few of those last few. Not ones, doing it? half as good a job as you, like. I, I wing it, I wing it, don't worry about that. <laughs> What's this, weddings or podcasts? Which? Matty, Matty was stepping in for Beth in the weddings as well, weren't he? Yeah. What's the hell, Matty? Can yeah, I have step, stepped up for him. I may do three, four. I can't remember now. He was three, before. wasn't he? Well, yeah. Obviously, Beth's off having a baby. I'm trying to keep anything. the baby in. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, yeah. Um... How's things with yourself? How have you been? You've been busy? Busy. Busier than I'd like to admit, to be yeah. honest, which is a blessing and a curse. Victim of your own ambition is a phrase that I keep telling myself. Yeah. Like, um, and obviously we've had a summer holidays with two kids in that mix. Yeah. And the way that my wife's work line has felt hasn't always been in our best interest, let's call it that. So it's been quite a difficult task to juggle. Yeah, N- not that I'm complaining because you know everyone does that. I think a lot thing. of suppliers have felt the same. So any suppliers hard, who are listening can hard. definitely vouch for what you're saying because people who have got families and you do and you work in the weddings, it's like there's no such thing as a break. There's no such thing yeah. as like you know what I'll take time off with the kids. You've got to sort of like plan it in advance. Like it's just being Beth's birthday. Um, the big three out. Big three out. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, Beth, <laughs> on making thirty. Um, but yeah, even that people were saying, oh, "Have you got a wedding this weekend?" And I'm thinking. No, I've known it was Beth's birthday two years in advance. Why? Why are you shocked? I've got to wish Beth happy birthday. Boo! Happy birthday! Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. You're just as busy oh, as us, don't oh, worry. It's just come to me then. I was like, oh my uh, god. To be honest with you, I actually didn't put it on um, Mainbox Films, and I feel bad for not like 
Because some people do that, don't they? Where they like yeah. wish themselves make their brands the personal ones yeah. as well. Yeah. So I just I just never did it, and I felt like I needed to do like a, one of them videos where you say, um, well, "I just well, apologize." Well, obviously, for the big moments in your life of the years gone by, you've obviously announced it in photographic ways or yeah. creative ways. Let's just say. Yeah. So that was, I was expecting big things. Oh, Me too. <laughs> me too. Do you want know, to be honest with you? Know, I'm one of them where like I don't like posting stuff anymore. I'm like going a bit oh. like, and I think I, I, I even seen Greg put a story up last night on his Instagram saying yes, he's having like a social media ban. I've seen a oh, few really? people. Yeah. Th this is one thing I actually I actually had round in my notes to be fair. Did it was yeah. a bit of prep. Is how much I've seen more of us like creatives just feeling like. It's just all too much. Yeah, it is. Like, uh, uh, Louise Griffin, our friend Louise Griffin, shout out Louise Griffin, put a boss post on the other day. It was on a story, so it won't be there now. But the, the kind of premise was as born creative force for content. Something like that. Like, and I just thought, oh my God, that's so simple and we'll, we will only understand. Yeah. Like, because it's gotten to this point now, hasn't it, where and everyone knows this anyway. If you're not posting regularly on your social medias, let's yeah, yeah. call it that, because you'd have to be on them all. You're like you, you feel like you're not doing enough yeah. when in the real the reality of it is if you're not probably posting on it it's because you haven't got the time because you've been so busy in your normal thing it's, it's what it's even what greg said in the story and i want a million percent related to it and shout out to greg as well if he's listening um it was literally just like how are you meant to find the time to actually edit the person's wedding day yeah. how are you meant to find the time if you're constantly trying to make content to promote yourself yeah that's getting put to the sideline. And I've always been really impressed by Greg and other, um, you know, photographers and videographers in our field. Because I've always been like, oh, have they got the time? No offence to photographers, by the way. I feel like you might have a little bit easier when it comes to posting. That's the truth. But you say that. Because you have got a bundle of images where for us, when we're creating videos, we're making it to sort of go with the current trends and stuff. With photos, you can literally just put like, happy Thursday. Here's a bride walking down the aisle. Can I wade in? <laughs> you could that, though. That, that, that and you've got the image there. That sounds so straightforward. But do you know how long I actually try and spend now to make photos, which, and I've said it before, don't seem as encapsulating as they once were. They're not as like... On social media? Faces. Just not even on social media. Forget about the social media, the algorithms and stuff like that. Just generally, I think people are more accepting and like immersive to the video aspect of things now like if you post on social media i don't feel like i can post anything without it being within a reel so i'd have to select a few images and also with some sort of music not necessarily trend and music but some sort to make it feel more um more easier for the eyes to to watch whereas like you say yes there is more to a video but as soon as you're watching a video you're in you're hooked you know, Coco Melon. <laughs> Coco Melon. You Coco Melon. Like Coco Melon. I've coined it now. I've been able to pour every three to four seconds. Yeah, they switch the clips. Yeah. So that your eyes just continuously become addicted to just watching it, whether you wanted to or not. Your brain can't process the switch. Whereas photos, you've either got to physically scroll it yourself so you can get bored of that a lot quicker. And how do you make it to go so nicely to music? Yeah. So it feels like it's a nice watch. You know, I only have to, not that I really spend time doing this, but I go back on like my analytics of how long people have watched a reel for. And it's very rare that they watch the whole thing because so photos think just so, aren't as like. So I was going to say, I grabbing. I've noticed what, only relating to yourself, um, I've witnessed your page go from being like putting a post up, then putting a reel up because do you, do you feel as a photographer, you've got to make your images more of a, re of a reel? More of a video. Yeah. Essentially. Well, I yeah. don't agree with that though. What you but, think, but, you, but you're seeing it from different eyes. You're seeing it from a videographer standpoint. I'm not. I think but I'm seeing it. A, like from a personal point of view as well. I I mean, I may be the only person that does this, but I never, ever have volume on my phone. On like, I'll be scrolling Typical through. Mom. No, I'll be <laughs> scrolling through Instagram and I'll watch a video and I'll read the subtitles. I won't ever have the volume on. Subtitles I think, is a big thing. Ever. Now, I think subtitles have to be on there, don't they? Yeah. And that's why you can see these lovely subtitles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but it, it's, a, it's a fascinating one, isn't it? And it's a topic you could probably talk about all day. But I definitely feel that there's such a massive emphasis on it now. I think people are starting to like almost rebel a bit and like think, I'm not doing it. Like, I'm just not. Yeah. Because I don't want to. And I don't feel like I'm forced. I like I have to. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that us in terms of posting, why our posting just sort of slow down. It's another, it's another job in itself it on top of everything yeah. else that you've got I think that's do. why there's all of these agencies, and obviously we know a few of them, are like just absolutely smashing life because 
people either can't be asked or haven't got the time to do it. So you employ literally somebody else. We talked about it, didn't we? About potentially getting someone in to be like an assistant, if you like, who was going to handle our social world. But from a business point of view, do you feel like most of your inquiries will come off the back of an Instagram post? I don't think they do. But I, I don't. I don't really. So I, I don't gonna, spend a lot of time figuring out where my inquiries come. I'll just ask the question when I meet the couple. I'm That's, only going to look at my social media now. See the last time I posted because I want to just not just put a stat out there, but I feel like in the past week yeah. we haven't posted at all. The last time we actually posted might have been announcing the competition competition winner, which we will discuss by the way. Oh yeah, very quickly. Um, that was the last time we posted. That was the twentieth of September. It's now the third of October, so it's only two weeks. Let's say. And we've had, I'm not messing in the past two days, like six or seven inquiries all come through Instagram. Now, I don't know how they've found us mm -hmm. because nothing's happened. We haven't posted whether any stories or posts. I know, whether it's the back of the competition and they just followed and then... You just don't know, do you? And I mean, I know there's ways to find out that, like, big data, as they call it, to see where things have come from, but... Again, that's another job in itself, isn't it? You, the, you're going down that rabbit hole. Well, I was going to say, the good thing about your competition as well, people would have entered thinking, oh my God, obviously, hope to win it. But a lot of them, people that were going and entering, probably thought, well, if it don't win, I yeah, might just book with the winner because yeah. inquire yeah. or book because your work speaks for itself. I must admit, there was a lot of people who entered multiple times. So obviously, trying, the chances become um, stronger to win. But a lot of them are already booked in. I've noticed that a lot. A lot of brides. I think if I, if, if I had my wedding booked with us, let's yeah. just say, and I was thinking, hang on a minute, I can enter this and I potentially get it for free, I would have entered yeah. as well. Oh, yeah, that's that's why we say <laughs> enter because it's a no, it wouldn't be fair for someone who'd book you the week before. But I know there's the thing with business, business as well where they're like, even though you booked the week before and now we've got like a Black Friday sale on, it doesn't change your booking. Yeah. But that's different. That's a different ball. That's, that's a different, different, I hope, in a different kind of I way. I think we just do, we, we do that competition for. For one, it's you know, in a selfish way, a little bit of like I think pushing, push, pushing our reach. Yeah, think but at the same time, I really just love doing something for nothing for someone to give someone that that chance well, we to someone who they might not have known about, being able to afford potentially. Like, yeah. I think it's lovely. Well, this year we 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 actually had one of our previous competition winners. Um, their wedding was in, at Merrydale um, in August time. Jess and Ryan. Jess and Ryan. And boss. it was a boss day. Boss day. And it was just so nice to sort of, again, I, it sounds mad because, I don't know whether to say this or not, but they didn't go on about it. Does that make sense? No, no, they didn't. They didn't, they didn't even say it at all. Thanks. I know, but they, <laughs> they just never, they just never like made a big fuss out of it. And no. some, some points, some parts. It, it made like, you feel real, I think. Yeah, it made me feel like, yeah, they, they appreciate you. They don't need to like kiss your ass or sense. Do they say yeah. thanks? Um, and yeah. Because it's only a three course, like, but... <laughs> <laughs> them three quarters speaking do you know what you've actually brought it up and I think if there's any suppliers or even couples listening I think this is a massive talking point and I think a lot Have of going straight into a topic here well maybe um, I think a lot of suppliers are afraid and brides and grooms don't know about it but when it comes to you paying for just like Jonas just had his feet he's hungry yeah, he gets yeah, hungry just yeah. like those suppliers and he had one course though didn't he <laughs> yeah um it happens, like suppliers will have in their contract, they're going to get fed from the bride and groom. And the bride and groom pay a, I can pay a fortune sometimes for, you know, meals to provide um, the suppliers with. And then the venue let them down, I think. And I think it needs to be addressed. I think a lot of couples don't realise, and I'm not bad mouth than venues, by the way. I don't venues realise either. But I think, there's, I think there's definitely like a triangle of like, it's not all connecting. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. So the I, amount of times as well as if if we know, like I know both of us don't like stipulate that we have to be no, fed. We like we yeah. just don't. Um, you know, we, we feel like we're already being given enough for one being present on your day and two being paid to be there. Um, we're already privileged in that sense, but we just do never demand it, which I know some people do. But the amount of times where if you've had the conversation around, do you want us to feed you or not? And thankfully, sometimes people say yeah. And a then you get the time, to the venue yeah. and you've got to literally chase people round because obviously yeah. when it comes to the, like, the guests being fed, it's like every single staff member's busy. They're doing something. They're obviously saving But then for us, we're for like, them. we're not like going, where's ours? We're just going like, just don't forget about us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that, Especially and that, when there's something happening straight after food yeah. or even during food. And it's Singing like, waiters, well, big yeah, one. Yeah, and it's like sometimes we don't eat because you can't. It's that, yeah. isn't it? For me, it's always speeches before three course meal and then singing weeks as we go on on as the last desserts put down or even just before desserts are served for us we're in that tight window gap then of being able to eat a meal 
and then go out and do your job still. Yeah. But also, I, I've not, it hasn't happened to me this year, I don't think at all yet. But some venues, it has, it has happened once actually, but I'm not going to name venues. Um, I'm not, not even that one with you actually, it ain't even that one now. Um, <laughs> so if you're paying for a meal for somebody and you're paying what you would pay, let's say like half price of what you're paying for per head in your wedding party, do you think they should be getting a hot meal or not? I, for me, I, i.e. me. Yeah, do you personally think you should be getting a hot meal? I should be getting a hot meal. As a supplier? Um, so if they've paid, say for example, right, let's just, let's talk numbers. It's it's funny one for me because I don't expect anything. I'm not saying you expect it, but what I'm saying but is, like, yeah, if, couple have said, if, if the couple have said we've paid 50 quid, quid. Oh, yeah, you'd paid, expect like an half decent meal for that. I was going to say scran then. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> two scouts. <laughs> the bootles coming back out to them, guys. For me. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. I think, I think, yeah. And I think there's sometimes there is that disconnect. Massively and I think, um, like, I think the couple think, what? what? I, don't know I think the said. couple think, <laughs> Oh, we've we've offered them food. We know that they're getting fed. So like we've we've ticked that box now, which yes, you have. But then like you said, between the venue and then us, if you've paid like fifty pounds, which I imagine I imagine it's somewhere between thirty and fifty, let's just say, argument's sake. In what, most 30 venues. Thirty and fifty. Yeah, yeah. Pounds yeah. For, for like our yeah. meals to be like. Um what that comes out like is so different. And we experienced it this year, didn't we? we did, where yeah. And again, we're not naming venues where I know the couple have paid for supplier meals. Yeah. But I don't know if the venue stipulated what that actually consists of. I don't of think they do. Because, and I don't even know what they've been charged either, the couple, but A lot. we say it, don't we? Like, imagine they've just paid 40, 50 pounds yeah. and we've got this. And which is like what, a cold, what did we get? Which was like a cold selection of sandwiches. Three sandwiches each. Three sandwiches Little each. Little triangles. The triangles. triangles. Not a full, not a Flavor. full square, but see, just a triangle not that flavors get. that you like either not flavors that you like yeah, egg mayo press and, and all that <laughs> and like plates of crisps plates of crisps and a, yeah. and a few chips yeah a bowl of chips each and that and that's a 12 hour day you've shot you're doing and by the way i'm not being ungrateful because i was buzzing i ate it but like it does make you feel yeah, a bit but like some people have diets some people have <laughs> it's not good for me calorie count on me is that what i've got in a minute <laughs> um, but it literally for me i just think I'm raising, I'm raising the awareness on it because yeah. some couples don't realise what raising the awareness, <laughs> raising the awareness. I just think it's necessary. I genuinely do, and I think all oh, we are saying, <laughs> on, honestly, is give us a scram. When you know I, the song, when I've been, I liked it. I'll take it. <laughs> when I've been at the weddings and them situations have happened, and I've sat with other photographers, not just yourself, or like you know a band or anything like that. We always have the same conversation. Like Definitely. someone needs to make couples yeah. aware of this, and and the venues have got to listen to what's going on because they're just fobbing, fobbing us off. But I'm not having a moan. No, that, I think that's the hard part, isn't it? Getting it across so you know it's a concerned point, yeah. but not in a way that we won't feel ungrateful or to feel like underdone. I just it's not even for us; it's for the couple. No, but that's what I mean. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, for the couple. But we need to know that we're we're doing it with their interests in it's, mind, not us being greedy asses. I was going to say we all know how expensive the even day is as greedy. a whole, and if they that's that's like, that all adds up when they're paying for like supplier meals. You want the supplier meal to be at least a hot meal, yeah, I agree. and dietary requirements. Because me and Matty had this experience where. I felt sorry for that for that photographer. She got proper fobbed off. I she thought. got pound off, didn't she? It was like three chicken roast dinners and a veggie meal. Right, and none of us are veggies, which is fine. But she was like, "Do you know what? I'll take one for the take team. The same, yeah. I'll have a veggie meal, and our chicken roast dinners were really, really nice. Gorgeous. But hers just didn't look one appetising, and two, it didn't. She didn't eat any of it. But it wasn't even like that though, because they come out didn't they, and said, "Oh, well, they've paid, they paid for meals, but they've only paid for, or well, they've only accounted for two, and obviously okay. there's four years. Yeah. So like, was also we'll see what's what what's available do. type of thing, but." Speaking to the bride and groom, it was like a little bit, no, they, they looked after us all and the venue was just... I, I guess this bit. is why some people, and maybe this is us, like a learning curve for us, I think this is why some creatives, let's just say, because that's all we can people, have it in there that they need to have a hot meal and potentially even a couple of courses in 12. I, I I it is a long day, it is. I was going to say... Lucky got... for me when I go with you, because you always bring a little snack box. Me. So I'm... You always bring a little snack box, Beth. I've actually got it in as well. I'm going to say, oh, the famous snack bag, get it out. And, oh. yeah. To be fair, even when I'm doing a wedding without Beth, she will do the same for Ryan or Matty. She always puts, I know. puts There's always a little whisper in there for me. Beth goes to the Asda. The Asda. The Asda. And actually goes down the aisle, whisper whispers for Ryan. Just count yourself lucky, mate. Yeah. All right. I know. That's and he's like, he's like, how many calories are in this? Oh, That's what you like. Calorie man. Speaking of calories, 
assume you've got well, uh, calories under the what table. What a segue that was. <laughs> now, there might be some calories under the table. Obviously, when you phoned me earlier to say, where are you? You're on your way in. What are you coming with? Well, I think <laughs> I think what you were referring to is like, have you prepped? Have you like thought of something that we can talk about? Which I did, and I've got it noted down, which I'm going to refer so, to so I? when I need to. Yeah. But obviously in shows gone by and people who have listened to us for a while will know this, I don't like to turn up empty-handed. Do you know, there's no. always a gift or there's always something that I like to like refer to. We've got them here. We can see them, some of them. Um, but one thing I brought this time... <laughs> Is some dessert cut a wide shot, Matty? It's got any other wide Okay, so we've got <laughs> two smarty cake things. I don't know what you really cut. Is that Aldi? Do you want to right, show the camera? Yeah. You know. uh, my camera? Yeah. Okay, so there's two smarty like cake biscuit bar things, which <laughs> feel lovely. <laughs> and the, uh, this is a big one for it's me. Cookie. <laughs> Oh, oh I, I knew it's going to be. I, when you said okay, I was like, I, don't get me hopes. Something. Do you remember when Liverpool went through that fascination of like everything was um, salt and pepper? Yes, it was like hot salt and pepper everywhere. Yeah. Where yeah. like I think Liverpool are going through a school, school cake phase, phase. Yeah. because there, there's not a shop or restaurant or anything that I've been in recently, and I haven't seen this hanging around. By the way, I've never seen it cut that large. She must have liked you. Usually get like <laughs> half of that. Yeah. So, was I you was you was you tensing or smoldering when you oh, bought them? No, just, just natural like this. Just walked natural in like this. Like and went, hey, this. babe. Hey, babe. No, I didn't. I was, I was shitting myself. Uh, but yeah, I've got it for us. So, I don't know who wants what. I won't eat mine on the pod. I'm gonna wait. Have whatever. Beth, choose first. What do you want, Beth? What do you want, Jonah? Well, half and half. Yeah, we'll have half and half. Of what? Whatever. Of each. Oh, yeah? Of each. <laughs> Get on these two. God, you it's don't know smart. you're born. Yeah, it is. Smarty like, cookies. Okay, so are you, you having, have having it? Smarty and we'll go Go off. off. All right, so you like have... That. All right, okay. That's so, what I mean. Say so smart thinking. Should we do the same? Should we do the same? Hey, we're going Dutch. Me and Matty are going Dutch. Thank you very much. Are we eating it now or no? No, I'm not eating it on. Because I'm not too good. Haven't you? No. But it's all right, because, you know... You like fasting, don't you? Sometimes. Not lately. Have you done it for a while? No, not for a long time. You're not following Dana White as much. Um, honestly, I know I've just pulled my phone out and, and it always throws me off when I pull my phone out, to be honest with you, but trends this year in weddings. Is this like trends like what people typically seem to go I was going to say, what have you seen decoration? this year that you've been like, it's been happening oh, I mean, a lot me Bell, shout out Mimi Bell, predicted cherries. And I've, I've actually that. got it on I, I, I have seen some. Predicted cherry trends. And yeah. Well, the idea was that we were potentially going to get them back on to, to, see, if, to see if they've been asked for it more. I think I have seen it a lot um, more. I've seen it. I've, I've, I've definitely seen a lot more, like, in variants. brands as well. Variants in terms of, like, what people are selecting. Like, obviously, it was a very sage life, wasn't it, for yeah, a while? Yeah, I was about to say that. But I'm now seeing colourful. people embracing colour a lot more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a little note that I noted as well. Like, what changes have we seen? Yeah, um, and that has been a big, a big part of it. I think. Do you know the one thing that I've seen this year, and I keep seeing it on social media, is Jonah like <laughs> featuring. Know, you'll no, you'll sorry, get your turn. Supposed to be now. What's he saying? What Put him on the mic. Put him on the mic. What do you want? What are you Hello, saying? lad. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most closest thing <laughs> ever. Hello, lad. <laughs> Grab the mic. Oh. Um, I was gonna say this is a, this is a proper. It's gonna touch. It's gonna touch people off the wrong way. I think, Ooh. even for couples and for Ooh, creators. Are we getting cancelled? I think I might get cancelled for Go saying. On, this. You can oh. say it. I just, I'm just, I keep seeing it, and it's just, it's something about it. I don't like. You know what I'm gonna say? No. Just the cigar <laughs> shot. Cigar shot. You know, like the lads. Uh, oh, okay. not even that. This is probably the worst one. I think the mafia look. Yeah, I'm on to. Oh, yeah. it, there's something about I, it. I, I just, think that's just. Uh, what's you call it? It's a trend. That's what I'm saying. Is it a trend? And I feel like people will regret that. I think they will. My point is with this trend of the mafia staring down the the camera with a serious look and the whole bridal party doing it and then and the missing out on that shot of all being happy, smiling doesn't sit well with me. To me, it's more of a case of unless obviously the brand groom specifically asked for it, it's more for like 
the photographer or the videographer to go content. look at me, look yeah. what I can do on yeah, your website, so. and that's where it sort of takes me. I don't from like it. I, I'm, I'm in agreement with you. Like, like, thanks. I thanks, feel like that, that part, obviously, yeah, it is quite mechanical sometimes, and yet yeah, you do have to tell people what to do in certain situations. But you can also do it in like a in like a nice, fun way. I think it is a bit of a trend, but. The problem with trends is they fizzle out. And I think it's one of them. And your which, photos and videos yeah. are forever. So and that's my point. I think it's one of them things where it's a trend that fizzle out and I just I cringe big time on them. It's I like cringe. if people want to do it, they need to make sure that they have the backup smiley. Mount yeah, do both. As it should well, be. And do both because both aren't happening. I was going to say it should be in addition to any of the standard happy yeah, smiley I agree. shots. It's yeah. not that should be replacing. But I've seen, other, I've, seen that that else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it replace it. I also think as well, in terms of, and we know this, how Wednesdays tend to work in terms of how much availability you've got for time of doing certain things. Setting something like that up, even if you're the best at it, will take longer than it needs to. Of course it will. And like, in the end result is, and especially if you're a photographer forcing that, or a videographer forcing that on your couple and they might not necessarily have wanted it, but just thought they'd please you. I just think, what a, what a long time you've spent when you could have yeah. just been having a laugh. I think when days are a laugh and they are meant to be fun and they are I think so. like a happy day. Not don't get me like, wrong, uh, if you're a bride and groom who love that, then get it, but don't let it be everything. I was going to say, I think people can only do that if they're from New York, the Bronx, Italian, and that is their heritage. I don't think any of us can do that and get away with it. Some middle-aged white bald man from Stoke going. Like, yeah, it doesn't work, does it? Nothing cool about that. It doesn't work. No offence to anyone from Stoke, by the way. Middle East, man. From oh, Middle East, man. Friends from Ted's from Stoke, who's currently in the Weatherspoons. <laughs> Not about you, but it's all right. <laughs> Don't take it. Yeah. But no, I know, I do agree. I Thanks. agree. I think so, if, if you're going to incorporate something like that, that's got to be the vibe of the whole day. Not yeah. just a one no, but off shot. No, it's got to be a no. But that, that's where you're committing yeah. to it, though, because it's, it's be like, where, where's that going to fit into your photos, your videos? If the whole day is in that type of vibe, okay. But if yeah. you're doing it quite natural, quite happy, and then you're doing this one-off shot where it's like, well, where's that going to fit in? With Do you know what it reminds me else? of? And this this might be, again, touchy for some people, but it reminds me of like when you were back in school, for me, everyone went through, <laughs> everyone, everyone went through a phase of thinking they were like day. gangster rappers. Everyone used to listen to like DMX, Eminem, Tupac, all that type of stuff. Yeah. It feels like when you see full-grown men most of the time, the reliving what it is, the reliving that thing, and I just think, grow up. Yeah. And, you know, that might make people go, get on him, but it, it is a bit childish. I think it's your wedding day. I thought you were going to go when you were doing all like. Oh no, I don't mind that. And I don't mind that. That was more your phase, I think. I know, yeah. I don't even our, know what our phase is a bit <laughs> different. <laughs> time, different decades, well, even. I've seen some of your throwbacks. <laughs> Do you know we should have one day a throwback day where we go get like whole photos out because some of Ryan. Oh, my oh I see all Ryan's ones. Didn't Ryan I? looks like again going back to the Italian <laughs> thing. He looks Ryan like an looks Italian like waiter. From <laughs> 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 On a good Without day, being Ted from Stoke. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, and also one of the trends that are popping into my head then, I've, maybe I've got one on my phone. Do you know what I've seen, what I was going to say, about uh, noticing changes. I've seen a couple of things. You probably haven't noticed it that much, but I definitely have. Definitely this year, more midweek weddings and midweek inquiries for the future. Yes. I think people are really honing in now on not having to just be a Friday and a Saturday. And I promote that. I know, yeah. I know, I know. You get loads of midweek ones, but I, I even promote it though to people who are family and friends who are getting married. Who say to me, oh, "I'm looking on like any advice for getting married? Like, really want to get married on this Saturday in August?" And I'm always just like, "Get married on a Thursday." Yeah, easier. One, it's cheaper. Two, you get a longer weekend out of it. Mm. Saturday, Sunday, you're dying all day. And you're in work Monday. Yeah. This is for like the guests. I mean, and you're done I mean, like going into work on the Monday. And I want all your guests to go into work on Monday. Yeah. You're like, oh, I had a wedding, I had a wedding on I Saturday. Think I think it's okay to ask people to take time off work for your wedding. I, like, do. I think, like, <clears throat> especially when most people know. I think know. that's fine. Years like, in advance. It's two days to yeah, yeah. say the wedding the next day. And, like, I think that's fine. The people who want to so be there, the people who want to be will take the time off work. They don't take the time off work. They don't take the time off work. They don't take the time off work. Especially if you are doing it midweek and it's potentially in the summer. Well, obviously, you can't guarantee it, but if it's like a sunny weekend, you've had your boss wedding day there, there in go. the sunshine into a boss weekend of weather, and you can continue the feeling. Didn't Abby and Jordan do that at Merida? I've, I've mentioned Merida twice. Shout out to Merida, by the way. I know, um, yeah. <laughs> Abby and Jordan, they had, they had a pre night at Merida the day before theirs. Did they? Ask? Yeah. I didn't know about the yeah. pre night. What did, did they? They had a pre night. Just all because what they did was they basically they did, said, yeah, they basically said everyone who was there. So coming back. I'm feeling very musical today. I know. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> Just trying to get it all in. I was going to say, you can tell he's not hungry. Um, Starving. Go on. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's that case of everyone who wants to be there will be there. And he will take time off. Yeah. Are you yeah, wanting always. to evacuate with Jonah? Well, I don't think he's going to go to sleep anytime soon. I just love the way he's just like vibing us. I, 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 I like him there. Like, I'm here for it. Like, I'm like, I'm there. People, right. people enjoy it. Yeah, and, and you know, I think, on, on the run, I, I, think, I think it does. <laughs> I think it does in a way. It shows how like our lives are. Is yeah. we're just like everybody else. Well, I was going to say from where you were talking about before, where you've got to balance everything out in terms of yeah, running Instagrams. Go. Like we're doing this, and obviously Jones a part of this. Three weeks Jones, old on his first podcast. I know, smashing life. You actually got here before that, other kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jews, but sorry, they haven't been. They haven't, they haven't made it. Oh, they haven't made God. the cut. Wild. But that, that's another thing I, think, I must admit a lot all our all of our couples, sorry, have been really supportive. I want to just get that out there now. Yeah. They've been really supportive during the time of us having having Jonah and like giving us time off to ed- like, you know, take time off away from editing. We've had like two weeks off, we're back to it now. Um just getting there, finding our feet again. And I really do appreciate people yeah. who have just shows a human side, doesn't it? Yeah. And and like I'm thinking of George, who was our first um gay wedding. Our, but two boys. Which we all know I've always wanted. <laughs> um, two boys. Um, just leave that. that I should have from that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've always wanted two boys. I've always wanted two boys. Um, oh. You know, George knows what I mean. Yeah. Um, but he, he said the best response to like the email. We sent like a, like a mailing list email just being like, listen, we just had our new baby boy. Going to take time off. And he just put, what did he say? He said something like, they're not little for, they're not little for long, so we enjoy this time. And I just thought, nice how that. nice is that? That's nice that. What a guy. Also, this year, I had four brides at a wedding. Yeah, yeah. I like, oh, right. Yes. Right, I okay. your, you're the one. You're the one. one. Yeah, <laughs> nice, isn't it? But he didn't sing to me. Oh, but it was been. such like, and Matty witnessed it. For yeah. me, I felt like a celebrity to be honest, yeah. I the felt like book, when I was leaving, yeah. I was a bit like... You've built oh, a lot of rapport with yeah. a lot of people there. I don't, I don't, even like the lads, I'd say four brides, four grooms as well. And everyone was just giving me the love, and it was nice. It was one bride and groom, and then three other bride yeah, sorry, and yeah. guests. So let, let, me, like let me name them all really quickly. Yeah, I give them all a <laughs> shout out because I know they all listen. So we got Rachel and Matty, who were first. Faye and Tom, mm-hmm. which is... Competition winners. Competition of, winners. Days gone by. Yeah. Um, Lauren and Tom. Mm-hmm. Friends. And Megan and Joel. Yeah. Which friends next? Well, like, they, they said to me, they were like, <laughs> we just feel like, you know, we need one of our friends to get married to invite you again. But I just kept saying, I want to come as a guest next time. I don't want to keep coming as... <laughs> I'll do your photos then. <laughs> right, it's like, you can pay me to go. Pay me, I'll go. But no, it, it is nice. And you do you do get that kind of like genuine rapport and feeling and emotive to, towards their days, don't you? Because you already know them. You know them yeah. well. Like the, the one that I had, the singing one, obviously that we, we've talked about that you hate, that I love. Um, that's five. There was five of them, and oh, it's one of them, any? No, you know what I mean? No, <laughs> but they were a group of like thirteen mates, close mates. I'm thinking, you've all got to be in the lines. Here, so, uh, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had no inquiries of any of them. So hurry up! <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Lauren, Lauren, and Tom in particular, she was proper crying when I was getting off. Proper oh. emotional. Wasn't I remember yeah. you telling me about it. To be fair, she was crying, going, like, "I just don't know when I'm going to see you again." Oh. It's mad though, because you have been a part of. Each one of their like special days, biggest day. Well, like they're gonna look life. back in so many yeah, yeah. years. Big deal, that all of the days. It is a big deal. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. nice to see that like we are obviously very natural, very relaxed. We're not. We don't like intrude on the Wednesday. We do try to be like fly on the wall. Well, that's what I was gonna say. But then we still to have that impact of yeah. like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That we're showing that we're just normal people. And it's we're a delicate balance, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're really good at. It. Well, I start. I'm starting to feel it more and more now. With like even con- pre consultations to the wedding days, which obviously. Again, any couples who are looking to book us or book Matty, book Ryan, whoever, um, always get like a pre-consultation. I, I think that's a massive... Um, I think you have to. Because, I, I, sorry, um, just to like go off on a little small sort of side topic. I had one the other day where obviously most of the time we try and do our consultations via video call uh, because I feel like it's more personal. Do you know, like there's... Like, if I'm talking to you here now, I can see what you're doing. I can see how your body language is reacting to what I'm saying. Like, if I say certain things, I can see that you're smiling and laughing. Like, it, there's something real about that. Whereas some, uh, one of the brides who I've got this weekend, I was going to say some of the, one of the, some of the, anyway. One of the brides I've got this weekend, when I was asking her to jump on a call, it's been difficult to get involved. So this is why it's so close. But she said, yeah, yeah, is it all right? We just do a phone call though instead of a video call. Which I'm fine with because yeah. obviously I just it happens, suit, it? I suit whatever they want, but it was so it felt so like hard to convey. Was you on the phone like this, 
Yeah, honest to God. <laughs> I was like dead animated walking around yeah. the room and everything. You have to, don't you? But it's hard to gauge. Like you don't know if what I'm saying is landing in a way that I would like it to or if she's just thinking, get off the phone. She, she is you. looking at her husband to be going. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I mean. And I, I think that's why it's so important. But in that call, if you haven't met them previously, like obviously you've had a few there that you've had and you've already met them at other weddings. Yeah. If you haven't met that couple previously, that is your first chance to really gauge who they are as a couple and get an idea of what they like and don't like. Because we say it all the time that we, we don't come with like a one size fits all scenario. We like to try and invest our time to understand who our couple are as people yeah. as well as what we can actually provide to them. Definitely. Um, and if you don't have that, then you're a bit of a, but out of a loss. But I even also think for the couple as well, I had I had it last week where an issue on the call call with the couple, I thought of they're really reserved, really quiet, and I, I couldn't really figure out whether it was like that's it. You're trying to gauge, yeah, them. basically, yeah. yeah, you're gauging what, what type of people they are, and obviously you've got to you've got to sort of match their way of doing things as well. You don't want to come mm -hmm. in and be like you know stand out like a sore thumb. You want to be like blending in. Um, but what was really nice was. They asked. They asked for advice. The groom, in particular, which I, it doesn't happen all the time. Because grooms, are, what type of advice? He just said, like, um, you know, I'm really nervous about my speech and like how to how to do it and how to like what you think I should do. And I was just like, my God, yeah, that is nice actually, because no one ever asks that. You didn't it, say picture the room naked, did you? Hate when people <laughs> say that. Yes, I did. No, <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, yeah, but it was just nice to sort of. I felt like m more than a videographer. Yeah. And I think that's what I'm sort of trying to push now more and more to couples because, again, when they book us, it's not just, we're not just there to capture the day, we're there no. as people to sort of make people your first. day. People first. Crazy make, second. make your day as best as it can be yeah. in, 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 every, in every way we can. And also he asked me a question about, which again is a, top, is a topic to talk about really, is he doesn't wear glasses all the time, but he wears them in certain parts of his day. So he was like, should I wear them just all day or not? What would you think? What would you say to that? Mm. That's a good question, isn't it? And I just said to him, I said, do you know what? Truthfully, I said, wear them when you want to wear them. I was going to say I was going to say, when you feel comfortable. Because when your bride's coming down <laughs> when, the aisle and you're like, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> like crying, tending to cry. Oh, it's only the flower girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mum. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, that, I was like... the first like, moment. <laughs> no, do you know what? There's a I, question, contact lenses. You just wear them. I don't think he wears them for like. Some people don't find them comfortable, do they? No, I mean I don't know. I, I he, he, he didn't elaborate on like why he wears them. I didn't really want to start saying. Can, yeah. What, what letters does this on? Get your little chart out. <laughs> but he, he just basically said, I wear them, but I don't wear them all the time. Yeah. I, was like, yeah. It's just I, I think some people should do that. Well, everyone should do that more. I always put I make a point of when someone's booked me, I say like, obviously between now and your date, about a month before your payments due. And we'll have a bit of a consultation to, to understand what your day looks like and a bit of a chance to speak and things. But I also put, but anything you want to ask me, and I mean anything at all, even if it's not directly wedding related to photos, ask me. Because I'll know a, a fair bit about wedding days now and how other vendors operate and how other things kind of come into play. So ask those questions. Because yeah. we are, at the end of the day, we are people. We are. And do you know what? Even, even you saying that then, we actually got you, Jude. Hell, that. Cut that. <laughs> you know what that is? Sound of getting old. <laughs> Honestly, we said, because his name's Jonah and our, our little boy's called Jude as well, it literally is like the worst names. They're too close. So you go, Jonah, Jude. Like you, you constantly. Like you and, match, and there's a Josh in the mix. Right yeah. Yeah. Jonah, like, Jude, third Josh. Third child for Beth. Beth. <laughs> um, but I was going to say today, we, we actually got Jonah registered um, legally. So he's official. He's official. Jeez. Thanks, guys. It's official. But when we went in there, it was a registrar that we recognised. It's nice that we have those like connections to our registrars now, obviously, because we see loads. Well, wait, of wait, wait, wait. You... No, no. I just want to say, but well, I was at a wedding not too long ago where I was looking at the registrar. And obviously, I've seen him before the different situations. But I was looking at him just a little bit deeper, which sounds proper iffy. But like, I was going, I know you more than just this situation, and I was like. Do you ever do the, um, you know, the, the records, like the signings and stuff like that? And he's like, I do actually, yeah, because we do like, they rotate, don't they, around yeah. to do different jobs and things. And I was like, you signed my daughter's like certificate of like authenticity or whatever it's called, where they like do the names. And he went, 
That's right. And he actually remembered me as well. He's lying. I know, I thought that at myself. But <laughs> He's like, fully lying. Like, That's right, yeah, no, I remember. And it was in the, la- nobody said the lava buildings. Like, could just be a, pro- <laughs> like a chance. But it wasn't the lava buildings. And he said, yeah, my name will be signed on the bottom of your daughter's certificate. And I thought, That's lovely. Can I just put in a sec? Certificate of Authenticity. For his daughter. I don't know what they're called. It's, it's not something birth like Comic-Con or something. I don't know what they're called, but they're not birth certificate, are they? Registration of birth or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, anyway. go on, you can eat. You're fucking craving. You're like a pregnant don't, one. Don't you break there? No. No, I, I want to I wanna no, talk cold. about my story before he interrupted. I'm cutting all that bit out. How the fucking is oh. seeing the fella? <laughs> oh, I'm joking. Um, no, so when we half got... Half a cake, half a one. That's there. fine. That I'm probably not going to have any of them, so you should oh. do whatever. Are you ready now? So when we got Joe and registered today, she was official. We obviously seen the registrar who we normally see at weddings, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. And which was nice for initially she didn't recognise us, but you recognised her. She must see a lot of photographers and videographers. Yeah. We're not the annoying ones. We blended, if that makes sense. But obviously, eventually, she's like, oh, "What's your o- occupation?" We told her. She's like, "Oh my god, you know, have we worked with them?" We're like, "Oh yeah, worked with loads." So, oh, that that makes more sense. Blah blah. blah. Um, <clears throat> and. She said to us, so she, you see the full day. She's like, we only turn up for that like 30 minute window and then we're gone. Or like if it's in the St. George's Hall, it's like a conveyor belt. But obviously if they go into venues, they're only there for 30 minutes of someone's big day and they're gone. And she was basically saying like, you just get to see it all. So rounding it back up to what you've just said then, where people come to you for advice or, you know, do you say, oh, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? We see the full day. Just as much as probably a wedding planner does. I think we're not far off that, you know. Mm-hmm. as a supplier point of view on a day we literally see first thing in the morning and then just before it gets messy over night time you are right nobody Sorry. else does that other than the wedding planner maybe it's that's why you, that's why you create such a, a good bond with obviously the yeah. brand groom because you're literally there three hours before ceremony right up till first dance like you're a massive massive part we're a massive part of it I day. think especially in the morning the, mor- the morning is where you build up your report with them because obviously it's as well, it, it is a lot more intimate I love the mornings for that yeah. reason I, I, I always said on the, on the call that's, that's well, like you're saying your day how it's going to go isn't it on, honestly God you, you feel like once you've made that first impression and you're on that and the ball's rolling you think yeah they've got me and I've got them and it's yeah. just relaxes. Plain, plain it relaxes me I think sometimes Yeah, I just think if, if I've got that like Little banter in the room at like the mom or whatever. And I just think, oh yeah, that's right. This Watch out, mums. Ryan's coming. <laughs> Watch out, mums. He'll chew you up. Sorry. Do you know, um, speaking of um, topic of the weeks and, <clears throat> and moans, I was actually coming on to Mother of the Brides jokes. That's a joke, by the way. Laugh. Cards. Right. Is honest. there a sound effect? Is there a bu- <laughs> A brum bunch. But Mothers of the Brides, for me, are you going through the sound effect? Oh, the- make the joke again. Make the joke again. Speaking of. Um, moans moans I mean mother of the brides <laughs> <laughs> thank we, you obviously at this point we don't even know what that sound effect is <laughs> it's fantastic which is the best one laughing <laughs> I was going wah 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 he's done yeah. a rat he's done yeah. um, I think and obviously again we see it all the time do you think we should have advice for mothers of the brides how to play it on the day um, we've seen mother of the brides come in and it's their big sweating. day yeah and the flapping, where you get mother of the brides, it was just dead chill, dead supportive, and always make sure they want the best for the daughter. I'm not saying they all don't, by the way, but I'm just saying some of them I can I think be. it's hard. There's yeah. a balance. There's I think definitely they, a balance. All, they all want the best for the daughter, but some of them Flap. go about it by flapping and like trying to be too helpful, and it yeah. ends up just causing more chaos. When they're asking you to, to take pictures and videos of certain things, like, you would have just done it anyway, like but I mean, because you didn't do it, like, <laughs> there and then. They're not they're like, it happen. <gasps> you, he hasn't even took pictures, of, and it, it, it does, it unnerves me sometimes. I feel a bit like, yeah, I was going to do it, I was just not doing it right now. And I think that's one thing that, as I come on to it, we're giving advice to like mothers of brides, even brides, I mean, it can be like that maid of honours, can be a bit like, oh yes, yeah, she wants a photo taken over there, and you're like, so that's they say it. <laughs> <laughs> but they do, don't they? They go, yeah, she's got a box over there, but all like yeah. a little bit. Put the gloves stuff. on to handle the dress. Yeah, there. yeah. I'll give you the white gloves. But it, it, it's true, and I think, I get it, the brides, it's probably pre-worn the moment and the maid of honour being like, listen, you make sure the photographer and videographer are getting what I want from the day and I don't want to be like directing them on the day being like, have you got my dress, have you got this? So I think they might put that pressure onto them. But for, I just think if you book the right photographer and buy right videographer, you won't have to have like that conversation's not the director, mother of the bride, director of maid of honour. 
Yeah, that's it. That's it. Theatre as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and yeah, that was one of the things that I just wanted to touch on. Just like more of the brides being a bit like, back off, back off, lady. Um, there's a baby on board. Um, Speaking of brides, did you see that Millie Bobby Brown got married? Did she? She did. She I did, didn't know she yeah. got married. So. And the photos don't look up too much. For me. <laughs> hey, how long have you been saving that? <laughs> She's been saving that for weeks. <laughs> now I wish me. there was a bit of. Oh, that's though, class. It? It's true though because. She's a kid. She is a, a child. Still. Yeah. How old is she though? Like, obviously, she is a child. She's in her twenties, isn't she? Can we Google She's it? A child. Go on, yeah. Google it. Yeah, Google it because I don't know. Honest to God, Millie Bobby Brown. I seen the wedding photos. Now. I was like, shout out Millie Bobby Brown, by the way. She <laughs> listens. She does. She knows the way me um, change things socks all the time. Are you excited for the new Stranger Things? I am. Gosh. But it's gonna. It's, it's just. It, it always feels the seasons miles away from getting released. I know the half a free production anyway. Next year, isn't it? I'm open. Baby, next Christmas. Yeah. And then the new Harry Potter series as well, 2026. I'm not looking forward to that. Neither am I. I'm just not ready to let go of the original cast anyway. He's not, he doesn't like Harry Potter, we won't go into it. She's 20. Stop it. Wow. She's a baby. I thought she was older than 20, like. 20. I've got to say. And her husband is 22. Yeah. Cool. That's crazy. Bon Jovi, son, eh? Jake. Did you hear about their proposal? We did. Tell me about that, but is that too young to get married? So it's a talking point this because we do have couples topic, who are young. I think in the celebrity world, it's not. That's just expected. Now, it is. Isn't it? Like you don't you have to get together for six months. Married like when they're ten. Yeah, do you know what I mean. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll cut that. Bit Rewind off. that. <laughs> Remember, in, in everyone's the, views on their podcast, in the celebrity <laughs> world, they just get they just seem to get married willy nilly, don't they? All the time, they have yeah. like eighteen wives and all that. Anyway, <laughs> obviously, just celebrities I watch. Yeah. So go on. What was the? No, no, we did, we did. No, no, I think it's a good talking point. I think, you know, when I'm trying to think of couples that we've shot before, I'm trying to think I'm of the youngest couple. I'm trying to think couple. the youngest that want to come from us, 25. And I think young, Charlie and Kieran, they were young. Oh, yeah, they were young, actually. Were and I remember kids. on the call with them when they, they popped up, I thought, wow, yous are they really young. Youthful. Youthful. They were very young, but they were getting married because he was in the army. Yeah. If so they were getting Do you married. Know what, right. For, uh, like, this is funny because I, I was thinking about this right that second. So the youngest couple I had this year, I think they were like 22 and 23, something like that. Oh. And he'd come out of the forces and was like, they were just ready to get married. So I yeah. think from a age point of view, it probably feels and seems young because a lot of people now are getting married later, aren't they? For whatever reason. Uh, I know I did. No, you definitely are. That's a prime example. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you, Matty. <laughs> but like... I've got a house or anything. Yeah, I've got a house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got the camera on me. Still got years Lucy on knows him. when we've got a house, I will then think about proposing to it. Listen, lads, there's always something else. Whilst I'm still living at home, there's always no, something else. The camera's staying on me, I'm But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, depending on the level of like maturity that they've got, like, so the couple that I had, which I won't name names because it's like, it might be personal or whatever, they'd already had like a couple of kids they already lived together. Do you know, they'd already got to that like life point where yeah. they knew that they committed yeah. to each other and stuff like that. Which I'm not saying Millie and Jake. Bon Jovi's son, <laughs> his name is, name's Jake. is uh, all committed. But I mean, like, it just feels a bit... It does. Twenty just seemed a bit like... And I think what makes it worse is... I think is, because of the character that she's like plays yeah. in Stranger Things. She, that's, is, she that's is very... Ma- is. Like, from what I know. She's really still know. playing a teenager she now, is, isn't she? Yeah. She is mature. She comes across as mature. Oh, because I think because she plays when she was child. When she was 11 in the very, very first one, she weren't a kid. She was like she was, way yeah. beyond her years. Yeah. I think you've got to be in that industry as well to, to make it. I think you couldn't have an annoying kid on set. Yeah. So it's probably a maturity thing rather than an age thing. But age is just a number. Anyway, what was the proposal? So, I mean, half of this story may be... It's not inaccurate, but I don't know the full facts. Properly. She was there. Wasn't you there? No. So, basically, they go scuba diving. Them too. That's what they, they do. So I think that's where they met originally. And um, this, one day, they go, <laughs> this one day, they go... This one day, they scuba diving <laughs> under the water. Under and while the it, sea? Un, while they're in the sea, he basically gets... <laughs> He's a divvy, isn't he? Come on. Do you want to listen to this story? I'm, de- I'm desperate. He doesn't. He proposes to it in the sea, under the water, Ooh. and gets the ring out. But as he opens <gighs> the ring, the ring obviously slides right. away. Plummets Kim down. Kardashian moment. Yeah, yeah. literally lost. People the da- are dying, Kim. <laughs> lost the diamond. And he managed. They managed to get it back, but obviously because they've got the snorkels on and stuff, they can't. Like, she can't like say yes. Like I'll marry her. <laughs> so what did she do then? The like, bubbles. Yeah, yeah, the, the bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> And then when they get up to the top, obviously, like, oh, my God. But luckily, it wasn't, it wasn't the um, the proper ring. It was, like, someone else's. 
Oh, oh that's okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's even worse. Oh, hey, lad, pass I'm, not my time, <laughs> I'm not very good at storytelling, but it's on those lines anyway. No. Hey, that's the, I enjoyed the it best, thank you. Hey, that's a good story, though. I think, I think it shows a, a level of life. Go on. Ready for the story, then? So, sit, my, my sister-in-law... Why, why are you being like that for? I'm just moving it over, my nice. My sister-in-law's brother went on his honeymoon to the Maldives. Ah? Yeah. His wedding band ring come off. He hadn't, he hadn't been wearing it that long, you see. That didn't, why did you do that? Um, it fell off when he was swimming in the Maldives, scoop, um, scuba diving. Mine didn't come off. But he was in one of them little villas anyway. So he was like, I'm not going to tell it's her. It's here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to tell her. It'll be here. And the next day he found it. As if. So under the sea, actually, so has under he told the sea. Since? I think he must have told him eventually. He must have been like, whether well, he had like a nightmare and woke up and he thought he'd lost any hands. <laughs> it was only just been a dream. nightmare now. <laughs> um, oh yeah, another thing is these bad boys at weddings, what are our, what are our feels on them? I know content creators that are around, they've got to have the phones out. But from a, from a you know, we've, we have spoke about it before, like guests Unplugged stuff, ceremonies. To unplugged cause. ceremonies and stuff. But just even in general, because this summer... <sighs> Too much. This summer being the Euros... And everyone was watching it, but you want to talk about a story that happens. How do we feel about seeing phones around, Matty? Um, in what way? Like people being on them, like just not paying attention to the day, or like watching stuff, or how, how do you mean? I think when people are when people on are the, on the phones, the watching football or sports or whatever. At the wedding, it's rude. It, it's so it is, rude. It is a bit I, I done a wedding on Saturday in Liverpool. I was playing. Matt was watching it. <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> during the speeches. I was still behind something. I was just keeping it all like that. Like that was good. And, oh, no. But the thing is, it was two fellas sitting next to each other and they both had a phone out each. Uh, and that's where I thought it was a little bit, like. probably a little bit too far. But I, I, don't be wrong, I think up checking now and then, keeping for updates is fine. But when you're sitting there during the speeches and it's out like that, and there's like two or three on one table, then it's a well, little bit Can you too imagine far. if like you're in the middle of the speech and like someone goes, you know what, I just wanted to raise a glass to obviously, you know, remember people and then someone's just scored and he goes, yeah. it's just like, I can see that happen. Bad yeah, time. Probably happens all the time. That. I wouldn't. No cheer loudly, I'll not realise. I know I wouldn't. For you, kids now, I know what it's like. You would. Quiet. You would. I'm like, <laughs> way too animated, you. Leave uh, my arm to the... <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, it happened this this year, funny enough, um, at weddings, you know, the order was happening, and I'm not going to name the venue, but the bride and groom said to obviously the venue, um, we want to put the semi-final on, England's playing Netherlands, was it? think so. Yeah, wanna, yeah. see, we don't really follow it, to be honest with you, but they, they said we want to put the semi-final on in the wedding breakfast room. So as the thing, the desserts were just getting plated, they kicked off around that time, they set a projector up, screen up, it went to extra time. Right, okay. So you, you're thinking 90 minutes of a game, yeah. 15 minute break, and then another half an hour of extra time, and then it finished, right? 1-0. It's called Ollie Watkins scored last in the in the last minute of extra time, I think. He did. From me, memory. Um, but from a wedding point of view, it just takes it doesn't sit wedding. right with me there. But then also, I do feel like if it was my wedding day and there was such a big game on, you wouldn't I bet. feel like... You've got to incorporate it. I feel like you'd have to incorporate it. I think when... Say it was like Liverpool in the Champions come. League final, not that we would yeah. ever get married on that day. But <laughs> we done that. <laughs> <laughs> we done that a couple of years ago, didn't we? Yeah. We were at a wedding in Scamsdale and yeah. it was Liverpool were in the Champions League final. Genuinely. Who was I? Um, couldn't say, but me and I, mean, I was feeling it. I before, did. Yeah. My, my wedding party, not my, actual wedding wedding, party. not my actual wedding day, but my, my wedding party that we booked like two yeah. years before. Athletic. Happened Athletic. on the same night that Liverpool were in the Champions League final in Paris, which obviously is a little harder because yeah. everyone want, could get to Paris quite that's, easily. That's what I mean. We a lot of people Paris didn't come yeah, to our yeah. party for that reason, but we had there was footy on. I think I if, watched a bit of it. But I, feel, but I feel like if it's such a big game and you feel like yeah, you went, you went, you went, yeah. Yeah. it wasn't like a, yeah, it wasn't the day. It wasn't like a sit down for a three course meal and then you have no. your first dance and all that after it. Do you have a first dance on that? Yeah. No, well, we had second dance. I was there for the first. Yeah. So was Beth. She cried. I wasn't. Only time I've ever seen her cry, by the way. You were the Champions <laughs> Day fan, weren't you, lads? <laughs> no. I do not swear. Yeah, f- f- footy is, is a, for me, or even sports, sorry, because as, as a whole, I just feel like you need to separate it. Right. I know you've just said in corporate that I don't agree. You I can't. What a bunch of half get, but if. But you don't plan it around that, yeah, do you? I'm saying Ryan. if you did. No, but you sometimes did. you can't control it. Like a, you can though. You don't know. No, but you don't know that they're going to be in these. You know the vicinity. 
Yeah, but if April, May, May. But if but if you're getting if you're planning your wedding for two years in advance, you don't know what the fixtures are for that yeah. Premier League season. May. Exactly. And you can't plan around. Or they might be playing then. They yeah. might be doing this. They might because they might even get there. Do you know what I mean? So it's like it's a big ask for a team to get for a Champions League fan, for example. But if it was your right then your wedding day, you're a blue nose. Yeah, and the whole unfortunately, and the whole wedding. So party, they're not going to be in any finals. Let's be honest. <laughs> no, so you, you're no. sad. <laughs> yeah, you fly, you fly not going to be in the league next year. But if half your wedding party was just Liverpool supporters, it was the Champions League final. If it was Liverpool, absolutely not. Oh, well, That's what I'm saying. So there's no way. It doesn't matter what team it is. No, I use that as an analogy. Mm-hmm. But on your wedding day, you don't want to stand there and watch a 90 minute game and then extra time, and then but, if you lose. That you, you're on a damper yeah. that's when you, yeah. you obviously lost exactly but that's, happens, yeah. that's one of many different circumstances that could be if it was me obviously yeah, Everton never going to get there but say it was a Champions League final semi-final yeah but it's still the same thing to me semi-final final if I was following Everton and Everton win the Champions League semi-final on my wedding day I would that's, that's, one try and reschedule see, like, loose. <laughs> I was going to say does that even happen no, that but, won't happen but that's what I'm saying alright say Liverpool then say it was your wedding day and it was Liverpool let me put the camera on me it was your wedding day and Liverpool were in the Champions League final you didn't go you're not going to stand there and say to me that you would not be paying attention to it. And if you're paying attention to it, you may as well be watching it. Exactly. And that's where you've just got to play it by ear on I the day. most saying, lads. He's got you. I'm, I'm not <laughs> saying plan the day around that, but when it's on, you would have to find the gap. See, listen, can we bring the food forward early? Can we do this? Because the team that I follow, I've followed all my life, are in the Champions League final. That's what I'm I saying. I want to watch well. it. It's such a. It's, I know what you're saying, and I do. I just, obviously, I do agree. I'm a, I know it's like, circumstantial. I I'm not saying you're gonna do it, but it's, it's circumstantial. If it was, if it was Everton, you wouldn't be bothered. But just, just think what that's done to that wedding day. Cause I, I spoke to the, I spoke to the staff who were, who were working on that day, and they said it just literally messed Everton up big time because, obviously, as I said, extra time and all that. So that's like two, two to two and a half hours out the day, basically just lost on football. Yeah, it, it's not ideal. And, and the atmosphere just went from being everyone was together celebrating to all the lads. Were in one room yeah. and all the girls were in a different room, yeah. and then they couldn't do it. They couldn't do the turnaround for the evening room because they're all watching the football in there. So they had to wait till the football games he finished, yeah. kick them out the room, and then do the turnaround. So as a photographer and videographer, how do you how would you feel about that caption the day? There's nothing to capture. No, no, it's your editing as well, wouldn't it? As I say, it's not I, I are, it's, it's not ideal, yeah. but I suppose it's probably where phones do come into play, don't they? Speaking of phones. Us three witnessed a registrar's phone go Oh, off. we did. That was the <laughs> funniest thing ever. Like, <laughs> of 15, all the people. 15 minutes prior, it was like, right, guys, make sure Made all the phones point. are switched on to silence, <laughs> or even better, switch them off completely because we don't want to be distracted. 15 minutes later, um, you've went through all the legal... <laughs> legal um, you it, was know, a, it was quite a... Was that, that's about, about Poss- to kiss. Possible he went, he prominent moment, wasn't it? 10 literally. seconds later. Ten seconds. It would have been yeah. even worse, yeah. wouldn't yeah. it, if she said, like, I now pronounce you... And it's a do 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 and, and literally everyone, everyone's eyes went like this and just followed the sound yeah. so it went this little little woman sat there beat rooting the face pulling every out a handbag I've never seen a panic so much handbag was just like Hermione's bag and then she, she got it out of the phone and she's like but uh, uh, all the guests then were like rad on with you yeah. of all the people <laughs> like, oh, bless her I did want her to the, the room to swallow her up to and then I think after it she was even like I thought I left Anne in the car <laughs> You Never tell, mind. You tell yourself that love. Yeah, sounds. If that makes you feel better, because if it was one of us, we would have been cut. Yeah. yeah, cut in half. Um, last last topic before we go into question time is newspapers at weddings. How are we feeling about it? When you say newspapers, do you mean like where it says, like, not like Tom and Holly are getting married today? <laughs> like like yeah. a, oh, yeah. something that you've had made. Yeah, yeah. Did you have something like, like that at your wedding day? Ryan and Becky get married. No, no. I we, had, like- we had a sign. That was it. I like it because it's it's one of the, it falls under that trend bracket, doesn't it? But it's not a trend that is gonna sort of die out. Like newspapers have been around for years, type of thing. So it's like it's it's a nice style where there's, there's like a the cigar shots, the cigar shots that we were talking about before. That sort and that can come and go. It's tasteful. It can be gone like that. 
Whereas the news paper, it's tailored to them type of thing. It's like their big day. It's just like a memorial of that. I, I don't mind it myself. I like it because it gives us something to... Flat lay. Yeah. Yeah. Flat lay. Basically, that's what I like. Love I flat lay. I actually think it's a nice keepsake to frame for the couple as well. That's what I mean. I think for the guests as well, potentially, if they, if they really... If you really Do care. you think it's a waste of paper? Just going all um, in by the Oh, here we go. No, because I'm just saying. Greta Thunberg think over the there. <laughs> Better Thunberg. <laughs> I'm just saying now. Think of the trees, guys. They all get left on the chairs in the ceremony. Yeah, and no. So I think it looks lovely and I think it gives... That's the part all the fourth. iPads on the the chairs. (laughs) And an added level of, like, personality to the day and stuff like that. Trying to save people money. But you are right. A lot of the time, they do just get left. It's like an order of service in a church, isn't it? It just gets left. But you... If you go to a funeral, it's different. You have to keep it. It's a bit of a... You feel... I've still got, like... I've still got loads. I've still yeah. got loads from funerals yeah. in my house, in a drawer. And you're like... Every time you pull it out and you see the face, you're like... <laughs> it's just a drawer again. <laughs> like, I'm thinking of you. Well, I filmed a funeral a few months ago, didn't I? Um, yeah. Well, and I've still wow. got the one from that in the back well, of my car. Well, yeah. is there you won't do? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the money. It's all about the... Dun, 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 dun. You're not filming a funeral. How much are we talking here? But what is it in terms of... What are you required to do on the day? It's just a, just a service. It was literally a recorded the um, service that went to. You didn't go the week. No, not, not the, I, I did. I did go the week. <laughs> I did. I went to the creme. Oh, yeah, the the they wanted decorate. They wanted shots of the decorations of the room. I think they've got a lot of family abroad and a lot of family could not Fair attend. Did. So it wasn't Fair like they just they can just watch it all the time. Did you feel awkward? What did you wear? You didn't wear not shorts, really. did you? No, I wore pants. I wore pants. Matty, I'm in my shorts people don't now. know this by now, Matty <laughs> is wearing lives. shorts right now. Lives yeah. in shorts. I'm in my shorts right now. It's uh, winter. She didn't on. wear shorts. No, I wore, I wore black pants. Christmas black Day, pants. shorts. <laughs> um, yeah, they just, they've got a lot of family abroad, so they just wanted Let to send off. it to them, basically. I know because I do know there's like the, the stream inside of things, but you know, that's a massive since COVID. I think that's took off, yeah, hasn't we, it? Yeah, we stream my granddad's, didn't we? Yeah. I thought I was streaming again. Yeah. I get that. Was this, yeah. But I think it was sort of last minute towards trying to find someone that is. But then what available. do you, what you, do you deliver do back? Editing it. Though. I was going to say, what do you deliver back? It was literally just. Do you put a montage to it together? I have to bring in the coffin in. Yeah. Really? It, it was Where the, did you just stand the front? I know. The, to the, to the I, priest. No, Where I, do I, can I just stand there to come down the aisle? <laughs> I, don't <get laughs> in the, I don't get in. I don't get in the way. I just stood to the side. Obviously, captured it from my. The way you would. I thought you were going to say, from the Graves point of view. <laughs> I, I would have been tempted to just set cameras up on tripods and just walk out, because I don't know if I could have been no, they, they, seen they, with a camera in my hands. They were all set up on tripods, but the initial entrance and exit of the church, I was like freeholding it. I know I'm laughing because I shouldn't, I shouldn't be laughing because no. it's not a laughing thing. No, but it, it's something that but people it's like do. But it's isn't yeah. it? When you're getting candles, people crying. You're like, oh, it's the moment that... No, I, I, I didn't get anything like that. It was just, literally, I wasn't focusing on people. It was just of the service and stuff okay. like that. That's what we've done. Lovely, Matty. I'm glad you've rounded that section up with, you know, some <laughs> some things that we didn't know was a job. Because there's a job for everything, isn't there, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's Definitely. what people don't realise. There's a job for everything. And Matty's just taken one of them off. Filming a funeral. Was the newspapers there? <laughs> You're making me laugh. Or... Be sensitive. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Next section. Can I, just, can I just make a little point about something here? Because I, I was just looking at my little notes then that I have prepped, which I haven't spoken about any of them. <laughs> But, as you think, this one's a little... We're on a time, we've been here, we've been here, we've been here, we've been here. An hour five. An hour five? Yeah. Sounds. We've wasted ten minutes of him eating. <laughs> Shut up. Eating. So, at a wedding recently, I worked with a friend of ours, a friend now anyway, called Georgina Rose. Yes. an events company. Our friends from another podcast. Yes. Which we're not asked about promoting, because obviously theirs are doing a lot better than ours. <laughs> we're hoping they promote ours. <laughs> we're hoping they promote ours by shouting them in. Uh, yeah, Unfiltered Brides podcast Unfiltered Brides. for the first time. What was that like? Because obviously people meet you for the first time and have that like, oh my God, it's mine off the pod. Well, it, was you the same? Was you like, not, oh my God, you're just so much different as, in person. You're a little a bit. Person, aren't you? A little bit. But do you know why, what I felt though? How personable she was immediately. Yeah. Like exactly how you want people to be on your, because she was like the coordinator on the day basically in the end. Um, I thought she, that, that was her role anyway, wasn't no, it? that is her role. Oh. But I mean like, that's how, how I came to mess her, not through the podcast, but through her actual, like, thing. Okay. And this is a little personal joke for us, but she was a prick. There you go, girl. She'll get it. She was a prick. Is that her impersonating Scouse yeah, accents? so basically she was, like, talking to me. She was like, oh, my God, I love the way Scouse is talk, da-da-da. 
It's, it's certain words that you say though, and then obviously I rounds with a few like classics off to it. He's like, on. "Oh my god, yeah, the way you said prick then." I was like, "That's yours for now." You hey, that. that's hey, for you, that girl. You're a prick, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the wedding I done on Monday, the content creator that was there was from Cambridge, and she said she went round the Costa drive through on the way <laughs> to the wedding, and she went, "Can I have a latte?" And she said she was, she had to repeat herself like six or seven latte. times to the person behind the counter. Because they did not understand the word that she was saying. She mean a latte. Yeah, a latte. He's like, latte. No. <laughs> Open your mouth. But in Liverpool, it's a latte. Do you ever find that when you go to Edinburgh, you change your voice? Depending on the people you're dealing with. Uh, initially. So if you're doing a really posh wedding, you can't go in and go, all right, lads, you're okay. I, I do. I, I always, like, take it down initially. Always take I've noticed. Back. I've actually noticed Too it. Too way. Yeah, that's just... I've noticed this with Ryan... <laughs> Um, hey, Beth just covering Matt and Ryan's lovely shot. Cut, cut to the wide, cut to the wide shot. But I've noticed. It I know. It... I just put Jonah down, and it looks all cute. So I was being like Christiana, just oh. like taking pictures. You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great, sweetie. You're such a mum. Such a mum. Mumsy. Go on. Um, I was going to say Ryan does this thing where he goes the, lo- the depends if it's a scouse wedding as well. The later the day goes on, you silly you've... scouse weddings. I'd say majority. Chelsea times. and Chris, let me hear down there. Didn't yeah, you did. To be fair. But you do go a bit like Scouse the other way. Yeah. You left the bootle out. Do you know, do you know what it is? Mean. Stop saying that. I'm not even from bootle. Stop saying that. Way. You don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. No, but I think that's like what we said earlier <laughs> about, you know, <laughs> about what we said about like mothers of the brides and things like that. It's how you, it's how people let you be at their wedding day, yeah. I think. Because obviously we'll turn up prim, proper, posh ish. And like, Speak for have like a certain level because we do know that we are there to deliver a professional service. Of course, yeah, yeah. It's in our minds. Yeah. But the more you are yourselves with us, the more we can be ourselves with you. And yeah. I think most of the time when you have those days where I do kind of let me hear down a little bit, let's just say, those are the, the best days because everyone's all like lively and bubbly and stuff like that. And that's the only reason why I do. do you, you I'm, matching, I'm matching their energy, is what I'm doing. Yeah. But I don't, oh, yeah, sounds okay. That's like the perfect way to say it without saying it's stupid. I'm matching their energy. Lovely. Anything to add before we go on to question time? No, nothing. I just want to add one thing that I've seen one of our brides said it during like back and forth chat. And I just want to know whether you'd heard the word before or whether it's a new thing. But she said, eh, just catching up on some wed men. I, I might steal that, you know. Instead of admin. Instead of admin. I might steal that. Good job you I said it was that. Just in case you didn't know. Just because didn't get on to it. <laughs> Wedman. What's it like? relate to? Wedman? Like. Admin. 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 Yeah, but you mean like on a wedding? No, but I mean like... Hang on a minute. Have I got a reality check there? People actually didn't get it. I know. I knew it meant obviously to do with what I... What do you mean, like, in terms of, like, a wedding day or, like, when you're editing or, like, what, no, she, what do you mean she by she basically it? sent an email saying, like, just catching up on some wedding, oh, like, can okay. we arrange our consultation? Is it I haven't suit? heard that before. And I've seen the word and thought, But I'm robbing it, yeah. I, like I thought that. you meant... Is it, like, am I just... I thought you meant someone had said it on the wedding day and no, I was like, no. that's why I was a bit confused. So I get it now. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad Matthew's that wasn't the best. guys. Thanks for having patience with them. It's question time. Yeah, happy, lovely. Yeah, we're there. <laughs> with the um, our production level is so high, it is unbelievable. I know, we're getting there, though. We're getting there. We're getting there. Do you know what so I like about it, though? I like, we're, like, we're not prim and proper. Yeah, we're, we're like about it. Yeah. aren't we, at times? Speak for yourself. Um, oh, yeah. And when we have Matty in the producer seat, it's even better, so I must admit, no offence, Beth. What's our questions? Um, all right. First question is from our very good friend, and it's been a while since we've heard from her. Makeup by Carla Knight, oh. which I think we've got a wedding coming up with her soon. We've got to have to see her because I feel like I see her with so many similar surprises that we work with. And I'm just thinking, why haven't we worked with her? But shout out Carla Knight. She is um, a advert, advert, that the word? Oh, that's Jonah. Avid, avid listener. You just missed the, miss the D. I'm learning, just like Matty is. Do you want to get our son? What are you doing? Just lying down. Yeah. Coming on to speaking about our son, she's actually ha- asked, How's the baby and family of four? Congratulations again. Oh, lovely oh, start. Thanks, ah, lovely yeah. thanks, Carla. Life is good, I must admit. Um, family of four, it actually feels like it's always been that way, to be totally honest with you. And yeah, we've taken <laughs> to it really nicely. How do you feel? That's always no. had two kids, hasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> Smashing it again. <laughs> there's, the no, there's no labels to these colours. I know. Just gotta yeah. guess. Um, cool. But yeah, we're doing great. So thank you for asking. And yeah, also, I feel like we're winning that like slightly, aren't we? Like, we've got a really good routine. Yeah, I must admit. Routine. But we, we literally said before. I was like, I feel like I have family. Like saying, like, oh, the kids feel i feel more like a mum now than i ever have done before with you like when i used to talk about you be like oh my son would be like the son said weird but now i'm like oh yeah the kids, the kids. like now i've got two i'm like a proper mum <laughs> them kids eh? what are they like <laughs> um and she's also sent in an actual question for us she's put what's the best advice you could give to somebody in the industry to secure bookings <sighs> don't ask me <laughs> I know, it's yeah. it's oh, I'll take over from you <laughs> definitely uh, don't give them multiple options to say no <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely think social media presence is massive. We actually spoke about it earlier on in the podcast, but I definitely think from a supplier point of view, you've got to be present on social media, letting people see your work from that point of view. Um, also showing yourself off a little bit more, if you can do. I think behind the scenes at the moment for suppliers is at its all-time high, <laughs> uh, which for me, I must admit, I'm on the fence with it big time because... I, and I think this is the reason why yeah, I love doing the podcast. This, you? The reason why I love doing the podcast is because you get to see us. But I feel like if I was doing it on a wedding day, I'm distracted from I capturing your wedding day. Oh, you'd have time. I know that they obviously have the rigs with like the phone on and all that. But I just think like I'm too busy thinking about the day and the bride and yeah. groom. And that's I'm that's my like, thing on it. I haven't and got I know, time to be thinking about behind the there's scenes. Some, there's some suppliers out there who are really good at doing it because they can, they've probably got, they're probably in a good routine. But now when yeah. they turn up to the venue, the first thing they do is pull the phone out. But I. I just, I just don't know how I feel there's, about there's it. Certain people that we know yeah. well, who we've seen like an evolution of how much they now do in terms of behind the scenes stuff yeah. about themselves and their presence of of other and it people looks on the great. day. It's great, but it's like I sometimes think, how much are you missing of the wedding? Day that's my, that's my do, biggest concern. To trying to promote yourself, yeah. So yeah. I always feel like you're, you're there to capture the day. I think, obviously, for us, because I've seen it a lot of times, like the hair, hair and makeup girls, they're massive on getting their content for promoting promoting themselves. So at times, they're trying to That's jump, gone. they're jumping in with their phones. And I understand why they're doing it, but also it's taking time away from other times of the day. So it's such a, fa- it's such a hard balance to find. All I was going to say is, that being said, there is loads of, like, drop-off points within a wedding day that you could. Of course, yeah, yeah. If, if you wanted to, go out and get all that sub- type of stuff. But when I find those moments, I just think... Did you break? Have a sec. Yeah, just your break, is it? Because it's intense. But yeah. I think the moments that would do well on Instagram, to show like to be on the scenes, it's very natural anyway. So if you've got this rig with your phone set up, you don't need to... As, as soon as you start press record... You don't need to do anything else when you're getting portraits. For yeah, example, you true. just let it run. Yeah. So it's not really Have you done it before? I've not. Oh, have you? But it, it won't you become have. a hindrance. Can I just say, right, that I, I was really getting into this, like, fear zone oh, early, early this year of having to feel like I had to do something else to be more um, present, if you want to call it that. Yeah. So I took my phone with me to three wins, I think, on the bounce. Got myself the rig where you set your phone up on the top and stuff like that. And at like certain key moments of the day, like a little bit in prep, a little bit of the ceremony, a little bit of like the, the bits after. So I can give like a full day's like rundown. And I had full intentions of like putting a reel together or like some sort of post together to go, oh, c- not come with me on this day because I hate that. But like, here's like moments from their day. And this is how I seen it, that type of yeah. thing. Three weddings I did in full. Not one second of that footage just being shown on any of my social medias. I've still got it. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I just never posted it because I, d- I didn't feel natural to me to do yeah. it. Um, another little point about being more like yourself within your work, if you want to put it that way. Something I had actually written down. Go on. I had a little photo shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Can I just skim past this bit? No, <laughs> no he's like. No. Fucking Dwayne Johnson over there, smouldering. I'm just, you know, just no. want to talk about me. Why can't you just let she's, me just say it? Ask the question, how do you get more bookings? What are you able to tell us? Does not give you more no. bookings? No, no. We, mm. we, we people went off. People. We went a tangent. We went off on a tangent. Go on. It, it links in. Like I said, off. people buy people. So I'm trying to be more personal within my little brand. And 2025 is going to be a big show and that. Anyway. Stop but, saying that. No, but it is. It's not 2025 yet. What about 2024 weddings? Think about them. I am thinking about them. I'm going through the, the motions with them. But I went into one with our mate Estelle Lease. Shout, Shout out to Estelle. Estelle. Lovely. Estelle. That's why I like to do that as well. But 
I know, mate. I know, mate. I know. He hates it as well. Perfect time and they don't laugh that much, Beth. But what I was linking to is, yeah, I got some pictures of myself and you'll probably see them going on there, but that wasn't the point. The point is, is I seen it from the other side how I felt getting Being pictures the taken rather than taking pictures and it's unnerving. Even with someone who's around cameras all the time, yeah. it still felt weird. So I'm just putting myself in other people's shoes there. As he just said, he's just farted. <laughs> like that smash yeah. <laughs> Listen, just let one go. Yeah, I think sure it was him. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's a good way of Beth it on the baby <laughs> <now>. <laughs> over there. No, anyway. So yeah, Carla, that's how you get booked. And I really go and get a photo shoot with a still. Yeah. Can we? Do, can I say something? A few years ago, we'd done a wedding. It was me, you, and Beth. I can't remember where it was, but you set up a GoPro to get behind the scenes stuff. Have you? Did I? Yeah, I'm sure you set up like a GoPro or something. Did. Of you what I mean. taking I, portraits of a dress. And I, I don't think I've ever seen that footage full, either. Full, full intentions of getting all of that stuff. He has all, all these mad stuff. ideas, Matty, all the time. Because he said it was going to make a time lapse. And I thought, oh, yeah. okay, be no, good. No, no. Like, like, I, honestly, I have these ideas all the time. I was even in the Apple shop the other day. I knew, I knew he was going to say that. No. Try it on Vision Pro is to try and be you more immersive. Yeah, so I had on. I had a 40 minute thingy. Tell me what them. Did you book, book it in? Yeah. It's you know, for someone who hates Apple. I was just going to say, in. he's not got an iPhone. What do you need the Vision Pro for? What you don't because need I'm seeing how I can imagine our world. Go on then. So, what did you think of it? It was really good. Was it? Yeah, it was really good. But I've always said this to you, Ryan, about, like, like that Ready Player One. No, Let's have it. No, <laughs> it all it all ties back. It all ties back. I'm not the biggest Apple fan. And I'm never ashamed to admit it either. I've got a Google phone at the moment. Oh, are if we? it didn't have to have a MacBook Pro, I wouldn't have one. But I do. But what I was what I seen this come out. I seen an evolution. And obviously, if we've seen evolutions of our bridal world, no, I shouldn't say bridal world, our wedding world changing and like evolving with the birth of content creators and all that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I just think technology, the way it's going, it's all shifting faster than we can kind of get our heads around. And this like immersive AR, VR world only seems the next four from, for me, talking about streaming weddings and funerals in Matty's case. Like... That, that like ability to be able to be more in the room after being in the room is is really big to me. And I want to be one of the first people at the forefront of that. And I could see how the Vision Pro would work in that world. So I went to see it for that reason, business research. And it's dead impressive. And, how and much, it's really good. How much is the product? The product's about three and a half grand. Yeah. At the moment... It but, won't be what he said to but, me as but well. this is this is this is where everyone falls short on technology. Always, we always do it. Once upon a time, to buy oh, a yeah. phone was like a joke. It still is, actually. To be it fair, is. Um, even but like, MacBooks. but the technology has downshifted loads. MacBooks yeah. downshifted PCs. You know, when you think about when they sent people to the moon, which I don't think they did. But like, we'll have another podcast. Oh on that one. My the God. computer that they use was like gigantic, cost millions and millions of pounds. Now it's all a thousand pounds, five hundred pounds, and it fits. But in that's when like, I went into the Apple shop. That's what he said to me. He's it's like, a he was like, in technology. It's a I know. I went in to get a, um, the case keyboard to my iPad um, for Final Cut Pro, and he said to me, "I'd advise them, but not yet." He said because they're very expensive, yeah, it's and it's the, the first model. It's a level. He said they're going to get cheaper, and they're going to get. Better. better. So yeah. he said, oh, it's three and a half grand now, but wait a couple of years, they'll bring out better models, cheaper but, models. But you'll always, you'll always get this with any shifts in anything in life is there'll always be early adopters and then there'll always be late adopters. Facebook, big, massive example that everyone can understand. Once upon a time, Facebook was for university students. Next minute, your nan's on it. Like everything has a point where but it just becomes real. Walking around with them goggles Not, on? No. Not necessarily walking around, because you said this, didn't you, when I messaged about it? You said, well, I haven't seen, I, I haven't seen anyone yet. walking around in, with them in town. You can do that. But I always refer to another film called Surrogates with Bruce Wilson, boss film, if you haven't watched it, where people don't go out anymore because they don't have to. Everything's Ready Player One. Everything's in your house, in your spare room. You don't even need big houses anymore. I just think it's just a technological shift towards that. So I was seeing how immersive you could be with it on. And I mean, you can literally recreate your wedding day and these things, I think, going forward. Digital avatars and all that. That's how people will be turning up to weddings. Drop the mic on that one. So yeah, Carla, we just went off on a tangent there, love. So if you want to secure someone, <laughs> you need their <laughs> them glasses on all night. But, you know, but you know what? You know what? Do you know this is on YouTube and we look back at it in five <laughs> slash ten years and you go, oh my God, Ryan said that in like 2024. 
I big, swear to the God. The Big Bang Theory predicted this years ago. They made a virtual presence device for Sheldon, and he was in like a robot walking around exactly. from his bedroom. That's and only, this was 10, 12 years ago. It's only a matter of time. Guys, you're scaring me. I don't like it. You know when you've got a guest who lives in Australia and just can't make that flight or whatever for ill health or whatever reasons, <laughs> and they, they can put their little headset on, but you've got like a 360 4D camera set up in that wedding room, and you can look around it as if you're there and even walk up and down the aisle and everything. That's no. Have you seen the bars that are getting put up in America now for the football matches? It's like, you know, the sphere in Vegas. Oh, it's yes. like that way you sit and it looks, it looks like, like you're in a stadium. It, yeah. oh, right. So, on that Vision Pro, part of the demo was I sat courtside in a basketball game yeah. only for a couple of minutes. But, like, it was is, so, is it was weird. so realistic. It was hard to believe. But because of the way that this works. Were you sitting it, next to it? I was, I was sitting in the middle of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> But courtside in no, the you, Apple shop. It was just people. It was just people. No one famous? No, no one famous. But come on, Apple. Get rid of it. But <laughs> it was like it was like I could I could look at what was happening, i.e. the game, like you'd watch on your phone there. But then I could also look who was next to me, who was behind me, what it was like with the with the scoreboard at the top. But because of the way the earphones and everything work, it the was atmosphere. like you were there. Yeah. And it's hard to explain until you really try. Did you go and get a drink or a hot dog or anything? <laughs> no. Didn't. But, I love how I love how like we're all buzzing and but, all like dead serious. No, 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 genuinely, I was there. Like, it's, What's just, it's just the birth of digital tickets and everything and NFTs coming back. It's oh. all that. It's all that. We'll have to go and try it. Yeah. Right. Cool you ate it here anyway. I'm putting a fork in the road here. Carla, thank you so much for your question. Yeah, Carla. <laughs> thanks, Gail. <laughs> you you really started really... me off. <laughs> Anyway, what's the next question? Um, <laughs> I'm scared to ask another question, to be honest with you, because no rabbit hole, we're going to end up ask down. Ask question, you get an answer. I love, it, though. I love how you can go off on a tangent, it's great. And that's what questions are for, that's why we're here. Uh, as a father of two girls, not me, more like yourself, yeah. um, do you think the father of the bride should pay for the wedding? That's from Positive PT, shout out. Positive oh, it's PT. my mate James. Mate oh, James. Yeah. Uh, so he's in the same boat as you. He's asking that for a reason, to be honest with you, because it, it, I think his girlfriend that's is kind of trying to Push that, that on them. Should that be anonymous? <laughs> well, potentially. Sorry, James, uh, you're being outed, fella. Yeah, and no. Are we all on, Matty? Yeah, yeah, we're oh. all on. I just. Yeah, I, I feel, yeah, yeah, and no. I don't think they should be expected to do anything because, like, most people these days can afford it themselves if they wanted to. It's nice to add towards the wedding day if you can. Financially, I think that's one of the reasons why I'm holding that's off like, Beth. I'm that's, thinking, that, you know, yeah. that's like, a, that's like a, another one of those traditions, isn't it? That you know, we've seen loads of traditional wedding world slowly kind of like evolve phase. and change and phase. Yeah, so it definitely shouldn't be expected. So you're getting money for yeah. your choice. So yeah. you need to fund it. Exactly. Want I it. think that depends where you're from. Do you know what I mean? The, there's loads of things like that. I didn't ask Becky's dad for uh, his approval to. That's one thing I don't agree with. That I think but then, but then I didn't get engaged. So. I was gonna say you didn't even ask. That's even worse. <laughs> and you give me shit. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Got to go back a bit. What you think? Yeah, we all engaged. know this. Didn't officially get engaged. This We've is highly this promoted on this podcast. Ryan slags me off for not proposing. He didn't even propose himself. Sorry, Becky. It's your husband. No, but we had a. a Open discussion about potentially being married one day. Is like Romeo and Juliet? I said, Let's I said, together and get I said, I'd been looking for wedding rings, but I just couldn't find the right one. And Becky's response was, "I'm not really bothered about engagement rings anyway because I don't really like the way that they look. They stand out in the wrong way for her. For her." And I was like, "Right, okay. Well, where does that leave us then? Well, I wouldn't be bothered just swerving the engagement part and just being married because I just want to be married." And that's so. that's a wife right there, man. There that's a go. wife right there. Um, oh, she made up for it on the honeymoon. <laughs> that's where all the money went. <laughs> scared to ask any questions about the honeymoon and the way you said it. I, I thought he was going to say something else. Hey, she made up for it on the honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was thinking, oh, that's a difference. If the, be hut, if the beach huts rock and don't come and knock. <laughs> um, anyway. We took the kids with us, so not was rocking, to be fair. But we all know what that's like. My mind was bouncing around. That was about it. <laughs> um, the paper doll, our good friend Sarah. Yeah? Yeah, boss friend. She sent in a lovely, sh- lovely message. We'll have to speak to her soon about the Christmas thing. Well, I, I think Christmas, she hasn't mentioned it on this. Christmas but special. It's definitely coming up. It's Christmas special with her hair. And her um, business. She's both sending all her love and congratulations to Beth and Josh on their new arrival. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. She's also sent in a question and it says, so on the topic of obviously having a baby, does maternity leave exist in the wedding industry? Two mm. weeks does. <laughs> yeah, clearly not. Three weeks and we're back. 
Yeah, I think from I think from your point of view, it's probably not going to be. I think because you're not going to fill. I think this is a very though. Beth question, I think, Miss. I think because we we work yeah. together. Yeah. And fortunate in ways that like I can step back from filming and you can do it and take like a different second and shoot a wit. Yeah. But obviously, if it was just me, then it wouldn't exist because yeah. obviously you I just think, have to go back. I, that's why it's different. But in regards to editing. I've still got to edit. Go so, I was using the delivery suite like yeah. that. <laughs> I did I did actually say when we were in the hospital, I was like, oh, we should have a laptop to you at one point. Bad, 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 bad. So I was like, that's all you're thinking about. And I think as a business, work. when you when you're like the director of the business and it's your business, there's, there's no switching off. I know we've spent we spoke we spoke loads on it. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and take you down that, that road, but it, it can be you never switch off. Even when you're about to give birth, you're still thinking about getting films back to people and stuff. So I had that conversation with someone yesterday, funny enough. What? Um, that, they was, that, they were, yeah, yeah, that they were still um, planning social media posts and stuff like that whilst they were literally in the delivery suite I thought that's crazy, crazy. Yeah. and it just goes to show like and you even said it as well you can be on like a family holiday switch off mode and you get an inquiry through you're going to respond you're not leaving that inquiry yeah. just sat there I, I, I never I know a lot of people put like a notice on that they're office. saying oh, out of office is on so I won't be replying to him I will reply to every single thing you still can, got your phone there you can never be out of office when you're no. on your there's no such don't thing don't get me wrong I, we've done it before when I've put out of office on but I still respond yeah. yeah it's more just a bit of a like if we don't respond within the hour that's it yeah you know, it's, it's just a, a slower response yeah that's about it um, I was going to mention about that actually well I, I actually had that in my little notes about um how we are when we are abroad and stuff like that and how, how like you don't get the usual perks that people get in like summer holidays, life if you like yeah. kids school summer holidays maternity leave uh, the ability to actually switch off when you go abroad that type of stuff I actually I've had this more so recently these last like few months I don't know if I actually like beach holidays anymore because you, you you're, you're too plugged in you're too like connected still so what type of holiday are you on about? Are we good? These are camping ones. These are our camping about? holidays that I've been talking about. I can't wait to like go through a different version of life. I know a lot of people Scotland go. Lee's photography for um, South South Scotland and the coast. I know what you're saying like, and I think we should we could we could even split this podcast into two because we could go on a massive. Oh yeah, that's, a whole I just said it because I had it. No, but I think it's a good it's a good thing to discuss, and I think we should definitely save it for another well, one. I, I think it, it's. What we've done, obviously, we've gone off on different tangents in different areas, but I think what this one collectively represents is how busy our lives can be yeah. and how difficult it is to fit it all in. You know, we spoke about that not wanting to post all the time, spoke about holidays not being there, not being able to go on proper maternity leave, not being able to switch off on holiday. It's hard work, it's graft. So yeah. it's, it, it's, just, it's just showing of how long ago was it that we did Gary's podcast? Gary! Gary, stop it! The only reason why we have the only reason why we haven't is because our actual lives are so yeah. Yeah. big what? and packed out. People don't realise. I'm not complaining about. Yeah. I'm just saying it's difficult. You know, uh, we're just people. We're so just yeah. people. Thanks to Paper Doll. Yeah, thanks. And obviously you. we will be in touch regarding... Christmas crackers. Christmas crackers, man. Um, Ian Hanlon. Or O'Hanlon. O'Hanlon. Um, <laughs> oh, he sends in... That. Shout out. A few questions. Um, and it's looking to get my VHS and 8 mil to digital. Do you think today's format will stay forever? Or is this something new coming in the future? Ryan, this is for you, I would say. This is a technical question. Yeah. What's he asking? No, but I mean, is he trying to like transpose some of his like old tapes and stuff? Looking to get my VHS and 8 mil to digital. Do you think today's format will stay forever or is there something new coming no. in the future? Well, coming in. Yeah. We, I, I've just spoke about it uh, about yeah. 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I definitely think there's something new coming in the future, <laughs> but I also think there's something really retro about keeping things that well, are original. They, they, I've had this conversation literally at the weekend and obviously with you a few times now. And we've actually brought them in before. Remember when I brought them cameras in in previous episodes about like how this seems to be like a re emergence of like old technologies coming back to the forefront? Because we know. All trends and fashions do this. It's just always the way. There's a loop. So, yeah and no. So, keep your VHS in your email because we'll people will still want that at some point because of the feel and the look that it gives. But technology will always advance. That Vision Pro also has a, a ability to take 
photos and videos with it on your head. I'm not saying that we're going to be walking around and you wedding with it on. Well, I, I but have, I it does it in a way that it uses a LiDAR 3D detection scanning and it will digitally scan the room that you're in and put things in places where it thinks that they should go or you can put things in places where it should go. So in terms of like immersive technologies, what I said to this fella is if we went in and shot the wedding in like some sort of like 360 camera or 8K or whatever, and then we can upload it to this headset, someone could literally walk into like any venue's ceremony room and look what it's like to see a, ven- a, a wedding take place as it's happening. Yeah. Like they're there, but like more than anything. So yes, future technology. There's your answer, Ian. I'm always on the wall with those techie ones, lad. No, what? Don't buzz off me, man. This is a female sending the <laughs> question, but I don't know how to pronounce that name. That's an Instagram handle. Let's have a look. And she said, where, where have you been, guys? It's not. not. That's, that's why, isn't it? Yeah. Not, it's it's um, I don't know who Unat is, but her name's Nat. Is Natalie Brides? Could Brides be one. Natalie. Could be one of a few. Nat, no, it's not. It's not. It's uh, Mimi Nat- Bell. Mimi Bell, yeah. It's Mimi Bell. She spoke, where you been, guys? Yeah, Nat, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a long one, to be honest with you. Roller coaster girl. Um, and you know what? Let's come on again and we'll, we'll discuss all about it. Um, one of my brides, Charlotte's put what best wedding of the summer. Charlotte, come on, girl. You know I can't say it. Um, they've all been great. Boo. Boo. <laughs> give us, like give us the real answer. Shit house. I feel like if I had to think back, I feel like I couldn't even think. They were all shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a blur. <clears throat> no, I think... I, I, Baby I said, brain. That's one way. Blame it on that. Blame yeah. it on that. I think every wedding this year has been really nice for their own reasons even when the weather hasn't been on side or other things, you know, don't always go to plan. I think as long as you make it your own and enjoy it, it'll always be the I best I feel day. like we've actually had half decent weather. I think we have. On the weddings this year. Mm-hmm. We have. We've smashed it. We've very lucky. And not on every yeah. day off. Abby and... and... Mm, what's his name? Ah, oh, it's really Ethan. bad. Ethan. Ethan. Yes, at West Tower. Perfect example of... <laughs> Purple, perfect example of luck. By the way, sorry, Ethan, not that he listens probably, but I was a big fan of his. But on that day, that was just a pure, like... It just felt perfect, didn't the it? The weather was unbelievable. Shout out West Tower as well. Storm Tower in the morning time. And then just perfect sun, perfect golden light in the night. In like the, it, it, the day just ran so smoothly oh, on that yes. day. And it was it was one of my, one of my um, standouts, I think. It, it makes it stand out, yeah, I think, does, yeah. for that reason. Um, and last question it's from Gemma O'Neill Photography who we work with this year at Vicky and Sonny's wedding at Double Tree Chester um, she was a big fan of yours right I think she's married and she knows you're married <laughs> but I think... oh not from a photographic point no, of view no, no. oh it was me thinking I was like oh, yeah, setting yeah, standards she there she, she was like she was like oh I listen to the pod for one reason one reason only she said I look like a, too young but I think she actually said the phrase little boy <laughs> <laughs> I think she did. Salt and comment. You can see. And I was, like, I was like, listen, you want to see me stand next to Ryan? Ryan looks like a little boy. Yeah. I'm That's six like foot. No girls, right? Six yeah. foot seven. Yeah. I think it's the. I'm sure she, she even. I'm sure she even said she showed her friends pictures. Like, yeah. Pictures of them. She was like, oh. oh my. She was like, I, she was like, when you turned the day, I was like, at first I was flattered. Now I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was a fan. She's happily married. She's happily married though, and she just. I think she was basically just complimenting no, you, being like, that's that's lovely. Though. Because she said, I know he's like middle-aged man, but he looks great. You said that, not it. I know that was you all day. (laughs) But yeah, she was a a big fan. Um, And she's just put supplier Christmas party. So maybe she wants to come to one of our Christmas parties, right? I'd love to have a Christmas party. Meet you in the flesh. I'd love to have one. Fangirl. Ryan! (laughs) Stop it, Ryan! (laughs) Are we going to make a Christmas party then? Christmas party? Tickets? Should I buy a ticket? (laughs) We'll have to speak to Abby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we, we said that. about this, didn't we? Is you this, want... do you reckon that's going to happen now? The... I think she's going to do one for surprise. No, I mean, like, the wedding fair thing that we had. That's not going to happen now, is it? Why isn't it? For us. I think we've got too much on. That's what I mean. That's we we, we plan just, things in advance. We, acted, we would have had to plan that, like, four or five months ago, Yeah, I think. So, anyway, yeah. I'm happy to call this part of pod. These all are. I think it's been a great little pod. I think it's been very informative. You can tell we've had some time away because we all didn't rusty. stop talking. The whole time. I feel like yeah, you're on an hour 37. I feel and there's like... gaps there, so that's laughing. Yeah. I want to start doing that as well. I, I think this is maybe something that people can say whether they like it or not. Because we, we did, and we touched on it a small earlier, um, we did notice that the last few podcasts that we did Get along, when we were there were getting longer and longer, especially Greg's was like two hours plus, which is a long time. And we don't know if people 
uh, are like open to that kind of like ingestion of such a long time. I felt like people Do you think were, an hour's enough? Do you know what I felt like? People, what feedback I was getting off people who listened, who were speaking to me about it, were saying, they were listening and then coming back Stopping to Stopping and listening again. And then basically what was happening is... I feel like you do it with most podcasts because you haven't got time to sit there No, I agree, full, I, agree full with, hour, yeah. I agree with you, but because we were putting them out every single week, it's a, then the, the, they, they well, would we, be high by a We were getting the time. feedback, weren't we, that like... That they they were listening to like one podcast over like a couple of weeks, yeah. So people weren't even up to date to Never. where we was. So yeah. that's again why we made this kind of slightly conscious decision to do them less, because we knew that everyone wasn't up to like the most recent one, yeah. and like we'd find new people who find us at this one and then go backwards or whatever it might be. So, but yeah, just let us know because we've always said it and we're still we're desperate for someone to give us some feedback on. Like, I don't think we get any feedback. This year. We don't. We so really don't. Please don't feel like shy about it. Just tell us. And we are going to start getting some more guests on. And, and I've just looked over. Um, Alex and the Magic. I've seen him a lot. Yes. Can't believe his name's Alex. <laughs> I've said it to him every time I've seen him since. Can you just not be called Xander? I feel like we've seen him tons this year, and every single time I see him, he's always asking about how you are and the baby and stuff. But also the pod, so he's coming on, and I'm gonna get him to do some like I was say David Blaine shit, but David no, Blaine's magic in here. Do his own stuff. My head blew yeah. off at that one that he was there. All I, these chicks I felt like I was spoiling the way, and I thought you were I know, there's that. The For someone that loves Harry Potter trying, so it. much, I know, yeah, you kill magic. Just let it be real. You know what I mean? He loves to find out the truth. Yeah. Don't Keep you watch Penn and Teller and you're like, you didn't feel me, mate. <laughs> I'm on the couch with that. Didn't feel me, but no, did that. I'm part of the circle and real wizards would say that. Shut so, up. fuck off. You just threw Alex's card on the floor now. He gives me something. Just made disappear. Wait, <laughs> 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 we come back and edit that and it'll go, ding. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you so much for listening and see you on the next one. It's been a blast. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>